We're with Energy Kayaking in Oregon City, about to explore the mighty Willamette River. So welcome to Energy Kayaking. My name is Sam Drevo, and uh, we're down here on the wonderful, mighty Willamette River, about a mile below Willamette Falls, and we're just gonna paddle up to, to the falls and in the process, check out a couple of the great sites along the way. When you're sitting in the kayaks, if your knees are splayed out to the side, it's easier to separate your upper and lower body. Beautiful down here. Yeah, it's nice out, huh, John? It's gorgeous. Anybody know what kind of rocks these are here? Hard? Hard rocks? Yes, <laughs> the rocks are hard here. It's Columbia River Basalt. So this arch bridge right here is the first single span arch bridge ever made completely out of concrete uh, by an architect named Conde McCullough. Um, and there's about 150 other bridges in Oregon that were designed off of this bridge. This is like the most historically significant public works project west of the Mississippi maritime anyway and uh, this is the first multi-tiered lock system ever built in the world so it was inspired by Leonardo da Vinci drawings and when we decided we were going to build like the Panama Canal all the engineers came here to learn about how they did it this is a man-made channel that goes from the top of the falls to the bottom it's a half a mile or a mile you know long and uh, three quarters of a mile long This whole area over here, like I said, it was a flour mill, and then it turned into a woolen mill. And um, back in the early 1900s, by, I think it was by 1915, they had, they had created and sold over $5 million worth of woolen merchandise, mostly for the federal government, for, for World War I uniforms and blankets. You can see upstream from here, that you can just start to see Willamette Falls. Um, right now, the majority of the water is running through the turbines and coming out from a different place. That's why the waterfall doesn't look like it has that much water. But that actually is the second largest waterfall by average volume in the UX next to Niagara. But as you can see, the majority of the water right now is coming out of those generators. Everybody has their AC kicked on right now. The, the, the power usage or the power demand is high at the current moment. 